Hi guys, how are you guys doing today? For those of you that are new, we love it if you'd subscribe. Hit the bell down below, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you guys wanna see next. For those of you that are coming back, hi, welcome. It's nice to spend some time with you guys. So today guys, I am super giddy. Oh my gosh, I have something so exciting to share with you guys. So, I went shopping, I did a little bit of damage. My husband had the day off and he said, let's go to the bag mall. For those of you that don't know what the bag mall is, it is Scottsdale Square Mall, uh, Fashion Square Mall. It's in Arizona, that's where we live. And I said, you know what, husband? If we go to the bag mall, I'm gonna leave with a bag because I have a few on my radar. And he said, okay, well, let's do it. So we did, we went shopping, we went to Fashion Square Mall and uh, tried on some bags. So I thought I was going to get the Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton. They had it in stock in the new winter print. I'm not sure what it's called. I thought for sure I was gonna get it. I tried it on, I loved it. But before we went to Louis Vuitton, we went to Bottega Veneta. So if you have ever tried on a Bottega Veneta bag, then you know that once you try on a Bottega Veneta, nothing else compares. And that's what happened. Nothing else compared. I went to Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Dior. Where else did I go? Uh, I can't remember, but we went to all the bag stores. Oh, YSL and Neiman Marcus. None of them compared. Every bag I tried on, I was like, I'd rather have the Bottega Veneta one. So we got one. So which bag do you guys think I got? Well, you guys probably already know from the thumbnail, but let's unbox it. So in here, we have this beautiful, soft, soft bag. It feels like a sweater, a winter sweater. It is so soft, like better than a winter sweater. I've never had a bag, a uh, dust bag that felt like this before. And it's got the beautiful Bottega Veneta in the green color. And then when you pull it out, it comes in a bag like this. And on your bag, it tells you all the details about your bag. So it says, it has the number of the bag and then it says padded cassette bag um, in the parakeet silver color. It's a women's handbag, crossbody bag, cassette small. And then it has a picture of it and then it has a barcode. So all that comes on this bag. It does come with the authenticity card and a receipt and you know all that fun stuff as well. So let's show you the bag. It's the same all the way around. So I know what you guys are thinking. Melissa, why would you get this color? It's crazy, it's out there, why? Well, let me tell you, I hated it. I absolutely hated this color. I saw it in the, in the drawer lined up with all the colors they had like a black and a gray and a, a patent leather purple which i didn't like that at all and a brown and then a blue which i thought i was going to get and then this green color and i saw it in the drawer and i told the sales rep i hate that color it i just didn't like it so i was trying on all the bags and i was torn between the big one with the chain on it and um, the pouch one that opens that has the chain. I don't know what that's called. So I was torn between the, the one with the chain in a deeper forest green, which is a beautiful color green. For those of you that don't know me, my favorite color is green. And so I was torn between that one and then the blue one that looked like this. And I kept going back and forth, back and forth, trying them both on. And for some reason, I just didn't like the blue color. Like I loved it by itself when it's just sitting there, but I didn't like it on me. And then the green one with the big chain, I absolutely loved. It's really heavy, it's like 10 pounds guys. Um, and then crossbody, it looked funky because I have a larger chest and then the chain was like way out here. And then, but if I wore it on my shoulder, which was beautiful like that, it would roll off my shoulder and then wearing it on my arm, which is an option, it was great, I loved it like that, but I just couldn't see myself spending that kind of money for a bag that I probably only wear on my arm. So I went with this beauty. I almost bought the other one, guys. I was so close to buying the other one. I was actually at the register with the other one, with the big chain, the cassette with the chain, 
And as she, as the sales associate was right, right, um, wrapping it up and then the other guy was ringing me up, I said, switch them. I'm so sorry guys, but I like the other one. The other one's stuck on my mind, switch them. So back to this color. When I put, so I grabbed this one out of the drawer because the blue one wasn't settling right with me. So I grabbed this color out of the drawer. I put it on and it just made my outfit look good. And I said, you know what, this is the one. I can't believe it. I hated that color, but it is the one. And I like to call this the true Bottega Veneta color. Look at this, guys. Isn't it? It's like exactly the same. It's the Bottega Veneta color. They should have called this Bottega Veneta instead of calling it Parakeet. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a quick little overview of the bag. It's a leather, woven leather. It's very soft and squishy. Now the clasp. You're gonna to have to pay attention to this clasp. So it doesn't, it's not a magnet, it doesn't just open and shut. You have to pull it and it's pretty difficult. So you gotta pull it and then lift up. So it's easier when the bag's got stuff in there. So one more time, I don't know if you guys can see that clasp. So you have to pull it down and lift up. And that's how it closes. It's got the beautiful silver hardware, which is what I wanted. I already have all my bags come with um, gold and one come with one comes with a gun metal color, color metal. So inside the bag is a woven material. There is no lining in here. So if you had something tiny like a bobby pin, it can fall out through these the woven holes. But it has a pocket and the pocket is not attached. It's kind of weird. I don't know if you guys could see that. It like it's completely, it's only attached by these two little um, prongs right here. It's got a zipper. The zipper is a smooth zipper. And I guess if you wanted to put something small, then you would put it in there. That way it can't fall out. So I'm gonna show you guys, I have a bowl of stuff right here of things that I think that someone might put inside their bag. So I'm going to show you what fits in here. So I have a water bottle. Sorry if you guys can hear my dogs. I am filming in my dining room and right to the left of us is a big bay window where my dogs are outside. They can see me filming, they can see me talking, they're trying to get my attention. So, a water bottle. This can fit in here, okay? It fits in there um, and then you would have to put your stuff on top but it is a wide fit and it can close like that. So let's close it. So as you can see, that does fit in there. Now, if I were carrying this bag, I wouldn't put a water bottle in there. I would rather just carry it. See how difficult it can be to open sometimes? Okay, I would not recommend putting a water bottle in there. I just spent about 30 seconds trying to get this open and you can see the indentation because it's such a tight squeeze. You can see the indentation on this, um, on the padded leather. So let's take that out. Okay, so we have my large card holder. It's about the size of a small wallet. We've got my keys and um, it's got a little spot for my cash. That fits right in there. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. I had a couple people ask me about car keys, why I don't have car keys in here. I don't drive. So maybe next time I film, I'll put my husband's car keys in here. I know I'm crazy. I just, it gives me anxiety and I just don't drive. If I need to go somewhere, my husband takes me and if he can't take me, I take an Uber. So that's why I don't have car keys in here. So here we have a headphone case, green, my favorite color. Okay, a couple of lipsticks. I usually do have two on me. I almost always carry my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick from my wedding day. Um, I like this one if I am running out of the house and I have no lipstick on, then I'll put a little bit of this on. It's a very light color. Then we've got a Kat Von D lipstick. We've got a snack. So this is from Octavia. This is a program that I did to lose weight. And if you guys want to hear about this program, I'd be happy to tell you about it. So I'm gonna put this in here. We've got a little perfume. If I carry a perfume, in my bag, it's usually a small sample size perfume or a travel size perfume. So we're gonna put that in there. We've got a chapstick. So I'm gonna put that in there. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. 
that's what it looks like. And then if we put the sunglasses, which you all know I can't go anywhere without my sunglasses, it fits right on top. Okay, so then we're going to close it and it looks beautiful. It's not puckering. I know it looks like it's puckering right here, but this is just the outside. It's not, this part actually isn't puckering. And that's just because of the woven material against the woven material. So this strap is adjustable. Right now I have it on the shortest length. It's the shoulder strap length when you put it on the, sho on the shortest length. And then you can do like towards the middle. For, this is for my height. I am five foot six for reference. So the shortest strap makes it a short shoulder strap bag for me the middle strap let's see one two three yeah the third hole down makes it a longer shoulder strap for me and then the fourth hole down makes it cross body for me so i want to tell you guys a little bit about the cost of this bag now don't come at me i understand it's a lot of money and people spend their money on an array of things there everybody's got their hobby everybody's got the things that they really love mine right now at this point in my life is bad I just got into bags I only started collecting designer bags this year so I have a small collection and I do plan to grow it so um, everybody's got what they spend their money on right now my husband's really into tattoos we are on the hunt for a good tattoo artist if you are a good tattoo artist in Arizona please contact me or if you have a good tattoo artist in Arizona. So this bag cost, dun, dun, dun. can you guess, can you guess? This bag cost $3,200 plus tax. I think I spent about 3,500 and some change, like 3,560 or something like that. So it's not a cheap bag, it's very expensive and I highly recommend you go and try this bag on before you buy it. Also, I wanted to tell you guys a little tip. If you guys are really interested in a luxury bag, go on the resale market and look up that bag. You will see on the resale market, which is a used bag, you're gonna see how it wore. You can see if it kept its shape. You're gonna see how the leather was. You're gonna see if lots of scratches were on there. You're gonna see how the handle um, was worn. So with that being said, I did look on the resale market Everything about this bag looked really well. It didn't scratch very easily, but the handle on this does wear pretty badly. So I am a little bit concerned about that. As you move it up and down, like if you do a crossbody and then shoulder bag, it leaves indentations on here. So I'm going to show you, I had it on this one, on the, on the fourth hole for a crossbody look. And look at it. Can you see that? Okay, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but because the triangle gets thinner as it goes up, the thinner part leaves indentations on the leather. So my advice would be find a comfortable spot where you want to wear it and leave it that way. So I'm probably gonna have this on a cross body length and leave it that way. That way I don't have all these indentations up and down the bag. Okay, so let's talk about the fun stuff. You're probably thinking, Melissa, why the hell did you pick that bright ass green color? Who's gonna wear that? How are you going to style it? So I thought I'd do something a little bit fun today and show you guys some outfits that you can do with this bag and show you how versatile it really is. So if you guys like this and you like the clips and you like how I styled it and, and just showing you in general the different ways that you can style bag, let me know and I'll start doing that with all of my bags. Okay, let's get right into that. Okay, so here we have outfit number one. I feel like this is a great combo. So with this bag, you can actually tuck the strap inside and it becomes like a clutch. I mean, it's a large clutch, but that's how I would probably wear it with this outfit. This is just a basic dress from Mango. I don't have shapewear on, so be nice. So if I pull the strap out of the bag, clasp it, this is what it looks like on. Doesn't that look so good with the, for just a pop of color? Just a basic outfit elevated with a pop of color. 
Okay, so I know what you're thinking. I would never pair those two together, right? Why not? You got an all white dress. It's beautiful. This is a needle and thread dress. And then you pair a bright green bag with it. This is my favorite thing to do. I love to get something super fancy and dress it down. So this is something that I would wear, especially around Christmas time, Christmas dinner or Christmas Eve dinner. And then a bright red lip, ooh, or red high heels. Wouldn't that be adorable? Okay, so here is outfit number two of how I might style this bag. I love this dress. This was my dress for my uh, uh, rehearsal dinner for my wedding. And then if you wanted, if you tucked in the strap, let's just pretend it's tucked in, you've got your clutch. Isn't that the perfect pop of color? I know this look isn't for everybody, but this is 100% my style. Something dressy with something dressed down. I hardly ever from head to toe dress completely dressy or dr completely dressed down. Okay, here we have look number three. This is a very Melissa outfit. Monochromatic, but with different shades of black. Got cut up jeans, my favorite. These are mom jeans from American Eagle, I believe. And just a basic t-shirt from Target. And then you throw on a pop of color. Maybe some chucks. Isn't that cute? What do you guys think? Do you think I'm crazy with this color? I know, I know, it's out there. You can wear it like that. If you're just doing a styling shoot, you might wanna carry it like this. You could wear it as your clutch. I think with this particular outfit, I would definitely wear it crossbody. And then you can wear it on your shoulder or you can tighten the strap and wear it you know, on your shoulder like this. So this is outfit number three. I have one more outfit to show you. I have tons that you can style this purse, but I'm just gonna show you a few and let me know you guys if you like me styling the bags at the end, because if you do, then I'll keep it. If you thought that you couldn't wear this bright green color in the winter, you are wrong. So here I have my jean jacket from Express, a little hoodie underneath, cropped hoodie, and my Spanx leather leggings. Let me know if you guys want to see a um, how to style Spanx leather le leggings. Let me just show you a quick. So these ones you are going to want to size up. I usually wear size small or medium and I have size large these. So here we have, I'm sweating to death by the way. Here we have a winter outfit. Put on your winter bag and it just looks amazing with those winter colors it looks really good with the chunky clothes we've got a crossbody see and we're gonna do on the shoulder okay move the hair out the way I'm not trying to rip out hair today okay on our shoulder clutch let's just pretend the strap isn't there clutch style and then obviously you can wear it short shoulders. So now I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like if you have um, heavier layers on, but not quite as heavy of layers. So let me fix the hood. Okay. All right, so this is with thicker layers, but not quite as thick as what I just had on. Looks really good. Okay, so I just left this hoodie on. I'm gonna do my outro and then change, even though I'm sweating to death. Um, so what did you guys think of this bag? Is it on your radar? Is it one that you want? Do you think I'm crazy for buying the Bottega Veneta color? I mean, it's literally the same color, which I didn't even realize when I was in the store. But I believe this color is called parakeet very pretty it's very lightweight i will do a one month review on this and tell you how uh like more of a first impressions review and then maybe once i've had it for six months or a year i'll do an actual review on it so 
Did you guys like this style video? Did you like the little try on style, how I would wear my bag in the end? Let me know. If you do, I will continue to do that. Um, if you're new, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.